Hello, Internet. I'm, I'm really excited today. No reason whatsoever, it's just that it's a weekend and the end of the week was kind of busy, but today went really quick, really easy, and I now get to enjoy the weekend with some D&D tomorrow. But that also means we need to crack into the advent calendar because I haven't done that yet. And it's about nine o'clock at night and I am uh, rendering this video that's gonna be going out today or tonight. Uh, but yeah, advent calendar time. Uh, day six, right here. So, I have no idea what this one is. All right, so I had to do a little bit of investigating work with this one, and apparently this one is called Cloud City. So it looks like it's, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. And I'm thinking, like how they have these ships with the Millennium Falcon, these little red ones. That's actually the red piece that comes with it, so I'll show you what it looks like. But it's called Cloud City, and I'm thinking the red with the, the two clear uh, two clear pieces might be a ship or two ships, like, flying around it. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but yeah, this one's called Cloud City. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well today. So, I'm about to leave in a little bit for D&D, but I wanted to film the day on the advent calendar since I wasn't sure when I was going to be getting back later today. Um, and I already found seven, so let's just jump right into it. And number seven is right here. All right, so this one's pretty cool. You might remember this one from the first movie. All right, so this one is a mini kit of the N1 Starfighter uh, from the first movie. I think some in the second movie, too, if I'm not mistaken. It might just be the first movie. Uh, but it was on uh, Planet Naboo. And not bad. I mean... It's, it's, it's very minimal, so it's hard to do that with as few Legos as possible, but um, I think it does a fair representation of it. A little chunky around the wings, I think, but there's not really anything you can do else for that, so pretty cool. All right, so I'm back. D&D &D was fantastic. I wanted to go one game without filming anything just so I could focus on the actual game and, and whatnot, and uh, I, I had a blast. It was nice just to relax and play it. Um, bad dice rolling, again. I I went I rolled the dice uh, when it got to my turn, roll a four, two more turns pass, and I roll a four each turn. Then uh, then I started rolling fives, and when you have a twenty sided die and you're rolling four threes and then four or then three fives and then three sixes, those are not numbers you want when you play a game like the, like Dungeons and Dragons. So that really sucked. We persevered and we came through. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk on, though, was in my last video, I pointed out that I was in the making of a Disney game. Um, first off, for my friends and family, and then uh, seeing where it goes from there, I may expand that. But basically, it's basically a trivia game for Disney. As of right now, I'm well, I'm in an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm watching some Disney movies, and anything, anytime something comes up that I feel is interesting information, I jot it down in the Excel spreadsheet. I have a tab open right now, and that tab is named Disney Films. So a common or a question I may have uh, would be, uh, I'm not going to answer these, I'm going to leave these up to you guys to find out, but say uh, a more common question may be, what is the color of Winnie the Pooh's shirt? A trickier question may be, fearing that her daughter's own beauty might surpass her one day, what kind of a maid did the evil queen make Snow White become? That's more of a detailed thing. I think it's going to be really interesting finding all the, the really easy stuff that people are used to seeing and then the not so easy stuff that people kind of breeze over because it's not like right in your face information. So it's going to be kind of fun. I'm hoping that once I get all the Disney movies done, I'm going to go through and make a tab for each additional thing. And those are going to serve as expansions. So one for Marvel, one for Star Wars, one for Pixar, one for the Disney parks, you know, like just going right down the list. And now that Disney owns Fox, that may be a lot of tabs and expansions, especially with like X-Men. Uh, well, that might just be part of Marvel at this point. But yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have a blast with it. I think it's gonna be really fun. For right now, it's just getting the trivia together. So I'm not all together with, uh, if I wanna make a board game out of it and um, you go around the board or what kind of a game? Is it a point-driven system with just trivia? Um, something like uh, uh, Trivia Pursuit, I guess? Where, you, like, as you're answering the questions, you get, like, a piece of the pie type of thing, and then you just, you want to make the whole pie, I guess. I don't know. I'm still experimenting with ideas on what I want to do with it, but I think making a game like this can be really fun. 
uh, and I encourage everyone to go out there and uh, make a game of your own. You can easily go on websites um, and find tokens to, that you can buy in a bunch that you can use uh, for a first time game or a board game that you want to just make. Put some cardboard together, spray paint it, put some uh, spots on it, spaces on it, buy some tokens, just make a game uh, and enjoy it. I think a lot of games that you guys end up playing, both the popular and not so popular games, that's exactly how they start out. They start off as something that you could just make in your house with some cardboard and uh, some paper and pencils and stuff and they expand into what you got now. So I think it's really fun and, and again, I encourage everyone to go out there and at least try it once. All right, so it's actually Sunday now. Um, did a whole bunch of stuff on the game yesterday and ended up passing out watching some ASMR in my computer chair. So I went to bed right away without filming an outro. Uh, but two things, and I will get to the second thing after we do the first thing, which is the advent calendar. Today is the eighth and it's right here, cool. Oh, this is cool. You might remember these droids from the first movie um, on the Battle of Naboo. I love these guys. They're kind of dumb droids, but they're cool. All right, so this droid, for some reason, is so light and very fragile. Like, as I was putting them together, like, some pieces just completely blew off, and I had to put them back on. Like, he's really fragile compared to this one. Like, this one's actually a little bit heavier, but they, they don't have many pieces, like, in comparison to each other, so I'm not really sure what the difference is. Maybe because he has the extra gun, and he's a little bit taller, but this one is really, really light. But it's cool. I like both of them. All right, so the second thing, and I'm going to try explaining this while also watching football, but the second thing had to do with the games. Last night, I just barely touched on the idea of it and what I was thinking about doing. Well, then it hit me last night while I was trying to uh, brainstorm and come up with ideas for it. I'm going to take the uh, so a little bit of each thing that I like of all of the past board games or tabletop games that I enjoy and see which ones I can mesh into this and see which ones work well with it. Um, do I want to include a board at all? Is it just a card game, like Cards Against Humanity type of thing? Is it more of a board game where you have to move around the board and be competitive with other players in more than just getting questions right? Like maybe you're building a picture, maybe you're uh, getting points that add up to something, I don't know. But I'm, as of this point right now, I'm just brainstorming while also watching the movies and getting any information and trivia that I can. As of this point though, I'm just sticking to Disney movies. I'm not sticking to, uh, there are old school ones like um, The Love Bug. Um, I'm trying to remember some older ones like Steamboat Willie. I may do some of the old cartoons, but I'm trying to stick to just the basic movies right now because that's what most people growing up have watched. They've watched 101 Dalmatians. Snow White, Sleeping Beauty. I'm trying to keep Pixar out of this for right now, so no Bugs Life, no Toy Story, stuff like that. They may be a, that's definitely going to be more of a uh, expansion down the road. So I, get, I hope that gives you a little bit of idea of the brainstorming going into this whole tabletop game thing. All right, so I'm about to go to bed for tonight, uh, but I was just finishing up Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and I, I got to thinking about how many questions were actually going to be in this, because. This is one of like a few movies I've already done, uh, but just to give you guys a basic outline of the amount of questions in this game, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, I'm not completely finished with the questions yet, but let's just say 30. I can get well over 30, but let's just say it's an even 30 questions, and then let's just say 30 questions by 15 movies. There's a lot more movies than that, let's just say 15 first of all. That's 450. If I go 20, that's 600 questions. That's not including any questions about the Disney parks, any questions about Pixar films, about Marvel films, about shows. That's a lot of questions. This is going to be a very, very detailed game. But it's also giving me a chance to rewatch a lot of the movies that it's probably been a year or two since I've watched them, and I really miss them. So, uh, S Snow White, and Fox and the Hound were uh, this weekend. I'm thinking that my goal is going to be to watch at minimum one Disney film per night and the questions. This way I should have a majority of the questions done within the next few weeks, if not a couple weeks. So, fingers crossed. But that's gonna do it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. It's a new day. Gotta do the advent calendar. Right here, nine. I think we got some kind of a ship. 
Yeah, I was gonna guess like a rider, like speed bike of some kind, but it looks more like a ship. Yeah, let's build it and see what it looks like. In all seriousness, I have no idea what, what this is. I don't know what I just made. All right, so first off, apparently I had this thing backwards. That clear piece is mainly just to hold it and stabilize it so it doesn't fall back, like completely back. But apparently this is Grievous, or General Grievous' ship. Um, yeah, I uh, would not have guessed that. Oh, it's about that time to hit the hay and get some sleep. I am tired. I uh, watched the rest of Snow White tonight. Got some more info on it, some back, back, uh, some backstage type info for some questions. Um, and I think tomorrow is going to be Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. I'm going to try and knock off the really old school Disney classics and then start to get more into a lot of the, the 90s ones that I, I really grew up with. But yeah, uh, I'm going to get some sleep tonight. Tomorrow um, is going to be doing a bunch of paperwork stuff. For work instead of actually going out in the field because it's freaking cold tomorrow. It's supposed to get to like six degrees. But yeah, thank God I don't gotta go out in that, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Done with work for today, time to relax. Uh, one thing before we get to the admin calendar, uh, I just got home not too long ago, but I started on working on some of my uh, Lego stuff that I had still packed away that I didn't really get out. Uh, so I wanted to organize some of that stuff and I couldn't find the manual that told you how to make this stuff anymore. I still have them, it's just that they're packed away right now and I don't want to go through all that stuff just to get the manual. I wanted to see if they had manuals online that you could just look at. So I typed in uh, Lego manual online and actually they do. The Lego company actually has on their, I think it's part of their support page, uh, all of the building instructions as a PDF download, which is really helpful. So if I go to building instructions and one of my files I believe it was 21115. Yeah, the first night in Minecraft. So if I click on that, click search, and there you go. Uh, I'm not really sure why it gives you two different versions. One might be European, I think, and the other one may be the US one. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it tells you like what year it came out, the name of it, it's got the number right here, what series it's part of. This one would be Minecraft. Then you just click on it, go to download PDF, and there you go. It gives you a little PDF to download. And if you click on it and open it, it gives you the full instructions. That is really helpful. I'm especially going to need this when I go back to a lot of my older sets from like 20 years ago that I may not have the instructions anymore, but yeah, this is really helpful. Speaking of Legos, day 10. Where is day 10? There it is. Uh, this one looks like a mounted gun of some kind. So yeah, this thing definitely is a, uh, an like an anti-aircraft or gun tur uh, turret type of thing. Not really any specific uh, thing about it. It's kind of just like a miscellaneous uh, type of thing, but it's actually really cool because this actually works. And because of the compression of how this piece is placed in the cannon, uh, it actually has some pretty good power to it. Let's try it out. Oh. Lost that piece. I'm really digging making this game right now. I think mainly for the fact that all of my research revolves around me watching Disney movies. That's my favorite kind of research. So I hope you're all doing well today. Um, not a whole lot has gone on. I basically just worked on some stuff for, for work all day and as well as working on some stuff for the channel. I have some stuff that I uploaded today, uh, some stuff I'll upload tomorrow and for the rest of the week. And then I'm gonna start pushing out new content. I recorded a few video games related stuff at least for yesterday and today, uh, but I wanted to hold off on putting those online until I put out what I had already in, uh, in like a little backup file. Um, I had some more one and done stuff that me and Shrimp or Mitchell um, did, so I want to put that stuff out there um, and then move on to newer stuff. But advent calendar time. And number 11. Who are you? So apparently this little guy's name is Rowan and he's from the, uh, or like from one of the uh, Lego Star Wars uh, cartoons so interesting I have no knowledge of this character whatsoever 
So I think I may need to venture into those, uh, those other cartoons and animated series just to get more of a backstory on some of these. So far I think this is the second one that's come out of the cartoon series or Lego cartoon series. Pretty interesting. So right now I am really excited. Once I actually get the uh, other videos that I had planned for this week out, um, a couple of one and done videos left, and then uh, moving on to other one and done videos and other gaming videos. Well, some of those other gaming videos I already have done, and I'm really, really, really happy and excited to put them out, and I can't wait. So hopefully in the next few days, they'll be starting to drip out. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, but I need to finish getting the other one and dones out. I have like, a f I, don't, I don't know, like three more to get done, um, which shouldn't take me too long. I could probably have, have them out in the next two days. I want to get all those done and then moving on to another game series. And I did some work tonight on getting that new game series up and running and I'm super excited. I'm really, really excited. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow, not really going to be in the mood to talk. So I'm going to have to end the video here just because I got to go to the dentist tomorrow. And I think the procedure basically because my crown popped off before. Um, it was on a root canal tooth and there wasn't much tooth there to begin with. So when they put the crown on, after like a week, the crown popped off. Well, to get it to stay, they have to basically take it off, drill out some of the tooth, put their version of rebar in the tooth and then build up around it, and then put the crown on top of it. The crown will actually go on again in like a couple weeks, but this one tomorrow, is basically just to get the tooth built and stable. That being said, it's gonna be like an hour to an hour and a half, and I'm not looking forward to that. So I'm definitely not gonna to wanna to talk, but that's gonna do it for this video. I wanna thank you guys for sticking around. Make sure to leave a comment, comment section below. Share the video, more the merrier. But we'll see you all next time. Take care, peace out.